Hello and welcome back to another episode, episode 14 of Non-League to Legend, here with Hemel Hempstead Football Club. Today we have Gosport away in the first round of the FA Cup, an all-conference South tie in the FA Cup, and then Welling United away in the league. This is a lovely draw um, for us against a side that we haven't actually ever beaten, but um, we've drawn to them twice, nil-nil once, and... Two all once. Um, Besant scored an own goal in that one. Um, form wise, since wherever we were, somewhere, uh, not too bad. We uh, actually had Gosport in the Vanarama South, um, drawing nil nil to them in league action, uh, and then we won a little bit of a run of games. Obviously, beating Salisbury in the in the FA Cup and. We thumped Haven't and then beat Dorking easily, uh, drew to Kingstonian and then beat them very well in the replay to set up this tie. Uh, beat Chippenham comfortably and it was all going really well. And uh, then we lost three and it was a Hungerford and we drew 0-0 and then drew one all. And we haven't won in three now. Uh, so this Gosport game is actually quite important uh, for us. Liam Nash is going to start because I trust him. Added by hasn't really regained my trust since uh, coming into the team back from his suspension. So um, Galliford starts. Tame Morrow has been very good, so Sterling's on the bench. And we're trying to change things up, um, basically, because something needs to happen uh, to instill some quality into this side. The first round of the FA Cup, massively important as well. Um, as you know, we're about three and a half thousand pounds a week over the wage bill, um, so we need uh, another poor team, um, like a Stockport, in the next round. We need to get through this one, and then play someone that we're going to beat, and then um, get into the third round and get United away, and that will help us uh, financially sort ourselves out for the rest of the season. Um, as we whip in a corner with Felix Sam. Dumps one over the bar. Uh, any upsets to talk about at the moment? Doesn't really look like it. Bath, they would be a nice tie, um, to be honest. We're, we're looking at who we could get ra rather than, I mean, this game. We are dominating at the moment, but we could be out very quickly. So we are 1 0 down. Kyron Lofthouse and is an absolute nobody. We need a goal, and before it gets too late, Asanyi on, and Adebayo on for Batashi. We need a goal, and we need it to come soon. How has he missed that? FA Cup runs are difficult to come by. What a save! Ricky German's in. Still 1-0 down. FA Cup runs, obviously it's a once in a year thing and you have to go through the qualifiers down here. You have two or three of them to go through and it is quite difficult to get a real good, good run going. Um, but we've done our best to get something going. We need to make another sub here, really. He's been crap. Mr. Sitter. Um, it is difficult to get a run going in these competitions and when you get into the first round you really feel like you could go and do something especially when you're playing a side who are in your league in the first round you feel like you can go and do something but at the moment we are out of the FA Cup and Ungbo is having a shocker as Mungo Bridge is given a yellow card and hopefully that highlight does not lead this doesn't lead to a goal Twelve minutes left. Need a goal right now. Doesn't happen now, then it's over. Ball in. Ungbo off the bar, and he's offside anyway. It's 
Send me back to the drawing board. Imagine thinking that you could win a game against a side in your league that you've never lost to. Galliford far as wide. Four games without a win for Hemel Hempstead now. Um, and they're going to know about it. And we, we have to get a result against Welling. Right, if we've ever needed a bounce back, it's now. And a side who are very good, and I believe Welling have featured on the channel before. Uh, inconsistent form. Currently our favourites for this game, though. Seventh uh, in the league, just three points behind us. Um, it wasn't a great performance last game, and a couple of small changes. Uh, Clayton Phillips has come back in. Ashby starts. Mungo Bridge out at left back. A fire force and drops into holding mid. Fernandez centre back with Nditi. SM Felix dropped. Uh, Ungbo dropped from the last game. Tain Moro dropped. Galliford out the side. Liam Nash out the side as I think Nelson Ago has earned his first start um, for the side. And I believe this could be um, an opportunity now to prove some doubters wrong. So we're very, I mean, we're, we're very much cemented in the playoffs after 24 league games, but we want to be doing better than that. We want to push that top spot as Dickinson makes a decent save and offside anyway. Um, we want to catch Chelmsford. That is the aim as Kingstonian take the lead. What, what, what's going on here then? Why are we not seeing the National League South? There we go. So we actually are dropping down the table to fourth as things stand, um, which we're not too happy about. Let's see if we can change that here as we win the ball in midfield quite easily and Ricky German can't get it across goal and Amol and Ricky German wins it back and oh, cracks the crossbar. Ricky German, real, real talent, real talent. As the ball comes out from the atmosphere, and Romanski does well, but Patashe wins it, and Ricky German set loose again. He's cut through to Asanani, and it's 1 0. Come on! There we go. Praise the lads. Dylan Asanani, his 12th of the season. Patashe wins it, finds Ricky German, cuts inside, takes the defender a little bit, and sets him up first time on his right foot, fires it into the corner. A highlight straight from kickoff is the last thing we wanted, but we want it back. And Asanganyi, a fire force, and with a terrible pass, but he gets it back. Batashe finds Clayton Phillips, who wins his race, and Wilkes is out to easily uh, collect that one and dump it long, and it's dumped back again, and it's all over the place at the moment. <laughs> As Bar picks it up, don't think any relation to Demba. Zasanganyi does well. You find Ricky German and just didn't have anything on it. Come on. 44 minutes, 45 minutes, half time. We've reached half time. We're in the lead. And I'm going to be passionately saying you've played well, but still room for improvement. We want to make sure that. We're doing our job. I don't know what Chelmsford are doing. They're nil-nil with Gosport, who are on a high after beating us uh, in the FA Cup. They've made the second round. Be interesting to see who they've got as the ball is pinging around our box. Kinstonian leading Hampton and Richmond 3-0. And Clayton Phillips pops the ball through to Asanganyi. Thought he might have been in there, and we're chasing down the goalkeeper. He's boomed it long, and oh my goodness, they're in. But good save, Tyler Dickinson. Too easily beaten there. I think it's Fernandez. Um, yeah, it would have been Fernandez, who was too easily beaten. And Asanganyi's doing well, so we're going to keep him on for now. But Nelson Ago, his. I think it'll be his debut, actually. Um, will be coming very, very soon. Who's Jeffers? Ugh. Pardon me. Finds Bridge. 
Fans collecting Phillips. I promise you the game's not boring me, but I could do with another goal here. Batashe. Uh, push forward. I need a second. Frustrated. Piss off. Right. Um... Ongbo's going to get a chance off the bench because, I mean, the wingers haven't been brilliant. Um, and he needs to prove a point today because he's not been good. Not been good at all in the last couple of games. And if he wants to stay at this club, then now's the time to make it happen. As the ball gets whipped in, Ongbo sets up Batashe. What a save, Ongbo! Yes, there you go. That is how you repay me for putting you back in the side. Now, right, we're 2-0 up. Now we can get our go on and see what he can do. Because, I mean... I play Nashi Nash and Asanganyi because I like them and I know that they're reliable. Um, but it would be nice to see what old Ago can do just in case something happens. But 2 0 up, looking like it's going to stay that way. They've used all their subs. 90th minute, headed half clear to Archer, whipped in, it's, oh my goodness, just wide. Clean sheet would be unbelievable here as well. 93, full time. <sighs> I'm very pleased. A 2-0 win, and then Bromley next is a massive one. A nice 2-0 win to keep us just outside top spot. Better goal difference, lost a couple more, drawn less, um, but won the same amount as Chelmsford. Putting us in a great position, We're heading miles away from 8th place, Billa uh, now. We will have a little look at the FA Cup second round, Gosport. Um, we'll see who they got. Where the hell are they? They would have Oxford or Carlisle. So, not probably not a game that we, we would win, which is nice. Um, but we will probably be back now, January transfer window, potentially. I mean, we've got nothing really to look forward to, uh, bar an FA Trophy qualifying game, which we're not really too worried about. And then the big game comes really in here in January against Chelmsford, uh, when we'll probably be next be together on Tuesday now. Um, but if you did enjoy this episode, please do drop a like or a dislike, comment on the video, share it, tell your friends, do whatever you want, comment on it, rate it, hate it, just do please 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 it helps massively just do something with the video subscribe do all that good stuff and uh we'll see you next time